Howdy, folks. Jeff Camardi. It is uh, Thursday, July 16th. Uh, not a whole lot of market news to report. The uh, um, uh, re relatively placid day, down a bit maybe, but uh, uh, still bouncing and rolling on that bubble of summer trouble. We'll see what happens. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, uh, please go ahead and uh, and take a look at the uh, the article I, I posted for Forbes, um, which was uh, titled like something like S and P 500 plus U.S. economy equal uh, equals uh, stock speculative stock bubble. Um, I'm gratified to see we've got almost 12,000 views just in a couple of days. It's 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 got more views in a shorter time than anything else we've ever written, uh, and I think you'd find it useful. Just go ahead and Google uh, um, or Rick, please. Maybe you could send a link out to everybody. Uh, so you don't have to, but if you can't wait for that, just go ahead and Google Camarda Forbes, and it'll take you to, to my column, as it were, on Forbes, and it's the top article there. Um, let's see what else. The uh, um, As you know, we have formed a uh, another entity uh, that's devoted strictly to, to advanced wealth education, and uh, um, my uh, uh, youngest daughter, uh, Alexis, uh, Josephine Alexis, um, the, was kind enough to, uh, to put together a pretty robust survey. A couple hundred people uh, responded anonymously, uh, and uh, based on their responses, um, the, we're going to name this the Family Wealth Education Institute. Um, that was um, the, that 50.51 percent of respondents like that better. Uh, 52 like Wealth Education Institute, but it's close enough that I'd rather have the descriptor because this is mostly for families and small businesses and like that, not for big corporations. Um, and also, well, I'm going to report those survey results to you. I think you find them interesting for the wealth courses. And we I have got a long list of courses that we'll be developing, um, the rather extensive syllabus. Uh, but of the, the probably two dozen, maybe three dozen we came up with, the top five are estate planning, wills, trust, and tax control. 70% of people are interested in that. Retirement planning, 51%. Generating retirement income, 49%. Asset protection planning, 44%. Then choosing financial advisors, which is a lot tougher than it seems. I mean, those of you that are clients of Camarda, we think are very fortunate, you know, to uh, to, to be with us, but uh, um, it, it's really hard for, for folks to tell good advisors, educated, ethical, fiduciary advisors apart from, you know, from those that are not. So 40% uh, of people were interested in, uh, in choosing financial uh, advisors, education skills, fiduciary tests, and background checks. Um, and when we asked them what uh, you think about retirement, what the number one question or worry that comes to mind uh, we have 190 answers. I'm just going to, you know, read probably the top three or four. When it comes to retirement, our survey group is concerned with running out of money, maintaining their standard of living or living too long, uh, other than uh, what they plan for. And others are concerned uh, that we're facing another Great Depression and that given the economy's conditions, they, don't, they won't have time to replace earnings. Uh, also health impairment problems that uh, um, they didn't plan for adequately financially. Um, the next question I'll talk about is... Uh, other notable points kind of these are the, the, the folks mentioned kind of, you know, for other response, can I afford someone other than a family member to manage my finances if I can't? How can I protect my nest egg from all of thieves and liars and financial services? And how there certainly are a lot of those out there, sadly, in this brothel of an industry uh, that we call financial advisory uh, and uh, some political concerns here, too. And just one more, as, as uh, I, I, I'm sure that... Uh, this is probably going to be more than you want to hear this evening, so we'll just go, go. There's one more here. When you think about investing, what is the number one question or worry that comes to mind? Uh, and risk, safety, and preservation of capital principle are at the forefront of this question. Uh, 64 folks uh, voted for that. They second uh, guess themselves when it comes to choosing the right stocks in an unstable, a volatile stock market and many, many worries on a precipice of another Great Depression due to the coronavirus and, uh, and the government trajectory, and certainly the election trajectory is now. Uh, brought uh, at the sharp uh, question uh, as things develop, and to, at least in terms of the impact on the stock market and, uh, and the economy and taxation and regulation of businesses and so forth. So uh, that was really, really good. Josephine Alexis, thank you so uh, so much. And that, that probably will be the, uh, the central uh, piece of an upcoming Forbes article that we'll try to bang out over the next uh, couple of days. And again, remember, we have a really important class coming up next Tuesday. Um, the uh, at 10 a.m. and at 6 p.m. Please tell your friends and ask them to get a link so they can watch it. It's going to be really, really good stuff on taxes and retirement, and particularly how to the techniques, proven techniques that you can use 
to minimize taxes in retirement. And remember, the, the less if you're able to convert money that would be lost to taxes into family wealth or additional spendable retirement income, that's a pretty significant win. Final thought is that uh, um, the, we've been working. Tell, we have been busier now than we ever have been. Uh, it really is just incredible, perplexing. Uh, but uh, we'll be on the boat, Kim and I and Dylan and Dante, uh, for a week, week and a half, beginning next Wednesday, I think. Uh, we got some pretty high-tech uh, equipment to stay in touch. Um, so you, uh, I'll be watching and, and being able to counsel you as you need me. Uh, videos may be a bit sporadic. I'm not sure if it'll be every day, but uh, we'll stay in touch. So just uh, be aware of that. And that's it up. Thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow, Friday, uh, July 17th, this is Dr. Kamara saying, have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.